Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello, how you doing? Welcome. You have just slipped and slotted into the most fabulous place on YouTube. And I am so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, I'm just gonna give you five seconds to go do what they do. Subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and the Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need a little shining, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of these winnings. Who's going to see Beyonce? Has Beyonce been to your city? I don't have tickets. <laughs> but the Lord knows that um, I will be seeing Beyonce, okay? Um, I am going to. I'm manifesting it because I already have my outfit. I just don't have tickets. So, yes, we will be seeing Beyonce. And if you're a returning subscriber... Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for the support. You chose to come back and you are truly appreciated. Now, today's video, are you ready? It's brand spanking new and I think this would be like a, bon a bonus video because I usually upload like once a week. I've been thinking about doing twice a week, but I don't want to shoot myself in the foot, okay? But today's video, as you can see, I'm in all pink because it's about the color pink. I got my pink wig on. I got my pink nails. Well, I was going to do pink nails anyways. And then I got my pink outfit because we will be reviewing Ariana Grande's new fragrance. This is called Cloud Pink. It just dropped. The day that it dropped, I was on Ulta, stalking the site. I should have gone to the store to pick it up, but... um. I'm lazy like that. So I grabbed it online and it just came today. So let's get into it. So if you're interested in knowing what I think about the new Cloud Pink by Ariana Grande, then stick around. So let's talk about the price. This fragrance retails for $68 for 100 ml. And this is how it comes in the box. You know, Ariana is here. And then we have Cloud Pink. Now listen, I am not the biggest celebrity fragrance person. Um, I don't do a lot of celebrity fragrance. Um, I just don't. But however, you guys know, I have Fenty and I love Fenty. And um, I got this one because... Um, you, you guys know I love the queen, okay? So I got um, Pink Friday. And see, I have a mini dent in here as well. But for Ariana Grande, I do know what cloud smells like. I know it smells like Baccarat. I have the body spray. This is the fragrance mist for cloud. And then I picked up, I got this from Burlington. I picked this um, sweet like candy. So you can see my dent. I'm somewhere around here. And then you can't really see my dent for this one, but I for sweet like candy. But my dent here is slightly more than this. But those are the two Ariana Grandes that I I I like. I use this after shower. I layer with fragrances, and um, that's as far as my celebrity fragrance goes. I also ordered the new Beyonce one coming, and we'll be doing a review on that. So let's get in to the fragrance and see what they do now. When it comes to packaging, I'm not the biggest fan of Ariana's packaging. To me, it's a bit childish, per se, but we don't care about that. I care about the juice, so let's get into it. This is the bottle. Oh, this is how it comes. In my head, it's, it's like this, but it was like this in the box, so... I kind of like that. And then it sits, it lays. So this is the cloud and it comes in. But the bottle by itself, I think this is okay for me. I like the bottle. I don't think I'll be using the whole base. It will take up too many spaces. And I have a lot of fragrance. But this is how it comes, 100 ml, $68. And the perfumer is Clement Cavari. I think I'm saying it right. And he's the one that did the first cloud as well. So it will be only right for him to do this one. So let me get my test strips and let's sniff it on a paper and we'll put it on the skin. And I'm going to give myself a couple of hours and I'll come back again and we'll see if it's full bottle worthy. Before we get into the fragrance, let's get into the notes before we dive in. Now for top notes, we get Pita Haya, which reminds me of dragon fruit. It, I feel like it looks like dragon fruit. We have wild berries, and then we have pineapple. For the middle notes, we get coconut water, 
vanilla orchid, and ambrette. For the base note, we get praline. Ooh, that means it's going to be sweet. We get musk because musk is always that base with amber. You know, they just give the fragrance the balance. And then we get amber wood. I told you. And moss. So, to be honest, looking at the notes, will I run towards it? Because I feel like it's it's going to be fun and playful. That's what I'm get I'm guessing to get from it, but let's get into test it. Strip. I got my test strips. Now the cap it's plasticky, okay? Um, it reminds me of Angel Share by Killian. You know how the bottle is heavy, but the cap is plastic. But this is $68. For $68, I'm not expecting heavy cap. I think it's okay. I'm not. I'm just being nitpicky. Um, it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world, okay? And let's get into the fragrance. Let's see what the atomizer is about first, because you know I love a good atomizer. Oh, oh that atomizer is okay. Let me see if the fragrance will come to me and I'll see if it reminds me of anything. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wait. Oh, I'm getting it. A little bit of alcohol is there, as expected, to be honest. I expected that. Oh, very sweet. Oh, I'm still getting alcohol. I'm still getting alcohol. I'm getting alcohol. This is why. Focus, Alali, focus. Okay. It does have cloud in it. There's cloud in here, but it takes it to a different direction. Okay. This is nice. It's very nice. It's very pretty. It's very young. It's very fun. Now, is it me? I don't know. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I think it's very good. I think it's very pretty, but it's something I've smelt before. But then again, of course, I have Baccarat. And this smells a little like Baccarat, but with the coconut. So it's like a watery, coconutty, beachy Baccarat. I have Banana Republic Rosewood. This smells like Rosewood to me. Okay, now it's coming up. Now it's picking up. I'm getting the amber. Like that ambrette, the deep stuff is kicking in. It's kicking in. Musk is coming. Okay, now I'm liking it. You see, the top notes it was giving me very young, very playful, kind of like something that I would give like my niece, you know, someone in high school, um, just getting into college, like a freshman kind of vibe. Not for like me that want to smell like, you know, an Arabic princess, you get? Now, does this smell lavish and expensive? No, it does not. But is it a gorgeous scent? Yes, it is. And I'm going to make it my scent of the day. And I'm going to come back and we'll see if this fragrance, you know, if it lasts as long as I'm expecting it to, is going to be my scent of the day today. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of something from Bond Number no. 9. Like a little bit of Greenwich Village. A hint of it is there. Just a hint. I don't know. But it feels like a Bond Number no. 9 kind of fragrance. The alcohol to me is a lot. It's a lot. But we don't care. It's $68, so I'm not expecting the moon and back. The atomizer is good. It sprays very well. It's not dashing like I love it, but it's good. So I've put it on. First impression, I think is a very pretty scent. I think it's young. I think it's jovial. Now... I'm going to come back in a couple of hours and then we'll see if um, I'm still feeling the same way and I'll give you my final thoughts on <sighs> Cloud Pink. So I am back. I resprayed the fragrance on my wrist again. I think on my skin, on my outfit, it really lasts long. I think it's good. It's long lasting. But for me, I would say this. Let me spray it. When I spray it, the first thing I get, like I say, is alcohol. So for me, the quality is lagging there with alcohol, but it reminds me of something by Bond Number no. 9. Kind of like a Greenwich Village. It's Baccarat, but then it's in a fruity direction. And then when you spray it, you get alcohol first, you know. With Bond Number no. 9, you get the alcohol first. So I get that. And I think that this may also layer well with Greenwich Village. But for me, this is a fragrance that I would love to layer. I would layer this with Oud Satin Mood by MFK. I would layer this with, with um, Seha Shela by Swiss Arabia. I would layer this with Oud for Greatness by Inicio. So this is going to be the finishing topper. That's sweetness that I need. 
this is not a fragrance that I would just wear by itself and move around unless I'm running errands. So for me, I'm going to drop my son off in daycare. I'm going to Walmart, going to Target. Well, we don't really have Target around this area. But yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm going to the store. I can wear this. And I think that it will give you compliment. It would get com You would get compliments from wearing this because it's very sweet. And it does leave a trail. Like I can still smell it around from spraying it. For me, it's just the quality because my nose, you guys know my nose is, is getting really mature. So my nose is very refined as I smell it. I'm getting straight alcohol right now. But once it settles out, it goes into this beautiful scent. Now, I do not own the first cloud and cloud intense because I own Baccarat. I own Banana Republics, Rosewood. It smells like Baccarat. And I also own what? I own Instant Crush. I own a lot of baccarat sisters, brothers, sisters, cousins, sisters, and aunties. So, oh, Al Haramein, I, Amber Oud, I think is the rouge ruby i own that one so i just didn't think i needed cloud and i'm kind of down done with the scent profile but for this i like this because it goes in a fruity direction and like i said it reminds me of greenwich village by bond number nine slightly not they're not they're not close they're not close at all so don't think this is a do for greenwich village i just feel like it's that baccarat with the fruity direction now the million dollar question is this full bottle worthy for $68, I think it's a good buy, okay? But if you are like me and you're used to, you know, a moage, <laughs> then when you smell this, this feels slightly, I wouldn't say childish. It's very young. It's very playful. For me, I would recommend this for um, freshmen in college. You know, you're graduating high school. You're about to enter college. This, I think, is for you know, that age. When you start to get in your 30s, um, I'm not really seeing this per se, but then you know I love me some deep scents. I love the oud, I love jasmine, I love rose, I love amber, I love that deep, dark scent, Arabian queen vibe, maybe that's why. But as a layering topper for oudy fragrance, I think this is good. This would be good for it. So like I said, alcohol, when you first spray it, you let it sit and develop and the amber, starts to come through and then it turns into a really beautiful scent so do i think it's full bottle worthy do you absolutely need this in your collection i would say no is it a nice to have yes if you're a fan of ariana grande and you have the two clouds already then you need to pick this up and add to your collection and make it a trilogy for me i don't own those ones i only own the what fragrance mist Cloud Fragrance Mist and Sweet Like Candy. So this is a good addition for me. And like I said, I will layer this with a lot of fragrance. I'm happy to have it. I think it's cute. Looking at the bottle like this, I think it's kind of cute as well. So if you're a fan of Ariana, I think you would love it. If you're a fan of Cloud, you would love it. This, I think, may be... It's a good addition. Does it smell expensive? No. But it smells very nice. It smells very young, very fun, very playful. Um, this is this is a good addition to have. So yes, those are my thoughts on Cloud Pink by Ariana. I think it's a really gorgeous scent, but um, just the alcohol, and I think that you know, that just the alcohol is a bit much for me, and I think that the quality is not top tier. No, it's not. The automizer is great. The bottle, I think, is actually cute. And um, yeah, I think she did her thing with this one. And I think the youngies, the girls, the, what are they called? The arenators. Did I get that right? They're going to eat it up. They're going to love it. And yeah, so those are my thoughts on it so far. That's it, guys. Remember, like I always say, oh, this is nice. In all things, add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, oh, I'm getting alcohol. Add more glitter. <laughs> when all else fails, you need to call on the Lord, okay? And spray your favorite fragrance. Uh, okay, it's coming out. It's smelling good. When all else fails, add more glitter. Wear pink, okay? And add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video.